one of the most important skills you're going to need to know is how to take the derivative in calculus. Now in this video what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to find a derivative right using the power rule if your function is actually defined as a quotient right. So in other words your function is given by two different functions which are divided with each other right. And really the focus here is that we want to see how can we find derivative um, simply by applying the power rule. Okay. So the function that we're going to look at in this example is y is equals to 2 times x squared minus 3. All of this divided by the square root of x. Okay. So as stated in the previous videos, right, we saw that the power rule okay, is a differentiation technique, right, which we can use right, if we want to do term by term differentiation. Right. So by now you should have noticed that the power rule basically applies to terms in a polynomial. Okay. Now what we have over here right, is a quotient function. Okay. And that just means that our function is given by two different functions which are being divided by each other. Right. So this is not a polynomial. Right? So we're going to have to transform this into a polynomial. Okay. And a polynomial is just a series of terms, right, which are in this form a times x to some exponent a. Right. So in order for us to transform this into a polynomial, right, we have to remember that the square root of x okay, can be rewritten as just x to the exponent 1 half. If you remember that, okay, then you can easily right, apply exponential rules okay, in order to transform this given uh, function. Right. So what we are given is y is equals to 2 times x squared minus 3, all of this divided by the square root of x. Now we're going to write that as x to the exponent 1 half. So now notice that we have one term in our denominator, so we can distribute that term right, to the two terms which are in the numerator. Okay, so we have 2 times x to the exponent 2 divided by x to the exponent 1 half. Then we're going to subtract from that 3 divided by x to the exponent 1 half. Okay? So now we're going to simplify this by basically just applying our exponential laws. Right. Now the exponential law that we're going to apply here, right, is the law that says that if your bases are the same, okay, so your bases are the same, and you are actually dividing these bases, right, then what you can do to these exponents, okay, is that you can subtract them, right, so you rewrite your base, and then you subtract your exponents, right, so that's what we're going to apply in this step. So if we do that, right, we'll see that we have 2, right, and the base that we are considering here is this base x, right, and the top exponent is 2, right, so we're going to have 2 minus a half, right, which is going to be uh, 1 and a half. Yeah, that's going to be your new exponent, right, or you could just write that as 3 over 2. Okay, now for this one, okay, the second term, right, we can just apply the exponential law that says that if your term, right, is in the denominator and you shift it up to the numerator, then your exponent just changes sign. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this as 3 times x to the exponent negative a half. Okay, so now we've just expressed our given function in a different form. We've just now rewritten it in a form that can help us, right, to apply the power rule. Okay, so like before, we saw that we can just identify our terms, right? So our first term here is 2 times x to the exponent um, 3 over 2, right? And the second term is 3 times x to the exponent negative half, okay? So then now that we've identified our terms, we can now actually take the derivative, right, 
and because our function is defined as y, right, the notation that's going to show, right, or tell our marker that we are actually working with the derivative function now is this notation dy by dx. Okay, so dy by dx. Okay, so now we're going to take the derivative, right? So let's take the derivative of our first term in blue. Okay, that's going to be 2 times 3 over 2. Okay, and then we're going to have x right to the exponent 3 over 2 minus 1. Okay, then we're going to have minus, and now we need to differentiate this term in green. Okay. So we're going to have 3 times the exponent negative half, okay, times x to the exponent negative half minus 1. So simplifying, we have that dy by dx is going to be equals to, well, for the first term, you can see that the 2s cancel each other out, right? So we're left with 3, right? times x, okay, and now for this fraction that we need to evaluate, okay, we basically have 3 over 2 minus 1, but you can think of that 1 as 2 over 2, okay, so now your denominators are the same, and then you can just evaluate the numerators, which is 3 minus 2, which is 1, okay, so your new exponent here is 1 half. Okay, so we still have our minus sign, right? Now we can take the derivative of our second term, which is in green, right? Notice that with the coefficient, you're going to have a negative, so we're going to have to use a bracket in order to be accurate, right? So in this bracket, we're going to have negative 3 over 2, right, times x, right? And now the new exponent is basically negative 1 half, right, minus 1, but you can think of that 1 again as just 2 over 2, right? So your denominator is 2. Now you can evaluate um, your numerator, which is minus 1 minus 2, which is minus 3. Okay. So the new exponent over here is negative 3 over 2. Okay. So now final step, dy by dx. Okay, our derivative function is given by the expression 3 times x to the exponent 1 half. Okay, and then we're going to distribute this minus sign into the bracket. Okay, and that's going to give us a positive 3 over 2 times x to the exponent negative 3 over 2. Right. It is acceptable to leave your answer in this form, right? Um, if you want to, you can simplify it even further, right? But the simplification is just a matter of rewriting this right, expression in a different form by just collapsing and cleaning up all of these fractional exponents, right? So if you want to see how that's going to look like, then you are just basically going to have dy by dx is going to be equals to 3, right, and we already spoke about x to the exponent 1 half as being the root of x, okay, then we're going to have plus, right, now over here, right, the simplification is just moving this x with a negative exponent down to your denominator, okay, so we're going to have 2 in our denominator, 3 in our numerator, and then when we move this down, and also rearranging it, this is just the square root, right, so that denominator becomes your radical, right, so the square root of x cubed. Okay, so if your teacher requires you to leave your answer, right, in a simplified and condensed form, okay, then you can go to this step, right, but it's perfectly acceptable to leave your answer in this step over here, where you have your exponent as 
um, fractions and also with your negative signs. Okay, so that's it for taking the derivative using the power rule, right? Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.